Hello there, this is Tim at Poland, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to program our KBD-1020N PTZ keyboard controller with multiple cameras all at once, quickly and easily. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is discover the IP address of the keyboard itself, because we're going to need that. That's under Keyboard Settings, IP Configuration, and there it is, 192.168.3.6. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is run our discovery tool. And as you can see, it automatically discovers the cameras on the network. In our case, our five cameras, we have the camera names and we have their IP addresses. We're going to need that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is log in to our keyboard. And we're going to use that address that we discovered on the keyboard itself. We'll authenticate. And we'll go to the search tool. Now, we're searching using Visca over IP, but we could just as easily look for devices to control over OnViv or NDI. So let's click Discover. And it will find all the things <laughs> that are on the network. Now, in our case, in this switch, it's just going to be our five cameras. And there they are. Because I'm going to be editing them all, I'm going to select them all by clicking on the button at the top. What I need now is to put them in order, at least that's what I want to do. So we'll start with the R9, and my discovery tool tells me that that is the .65 camera. There it is. I want that to be camera one. Next is our N6 4K60 NDI camera. There it is, that's .160, so that's going to be camera two. Next is our Dante AVH camera, that's .4, that's going to be camera three. Then we have our N2, that's dot three, that's gonna be camera four, which it already is. And that leaves our EX Ultra right here, dot five, as camera five. So we have camera one, two, three, four, and five. Watch the display on the keyboard. As I click add, there we are. It's that easy. Five cameras programmed into the KBD-1020N using our discovery tool and the web interface that quickly. But wait, there's one more thing. What if I want to name these cameras? I can do that easily as well. I'll go over to Settings, Cam Control. There's a list of everything that the keyboard can see. Here's that R9 at .65 right here. I'm going to click on it to select it. Click Edit, and under Title, I know this camera is going to be stage right and that's what I'm going to name it. Watch the keyboard again as I click Add, and there it is. I could just as quickly and easily do that for all the rest of the cameras from this same tool. So there you have it. Programming the KBD-1020N with multiple cameras all at once using our discovery tool and the KBD-1020N's web interface. Thanks for watching.